protester, prisoner, president. But first and foremost, freedom fighter. Reflections on Nelson Mandela's passing are being offered from statesmen to ordinary citizens the world over. For me, it goes back to 1994, shortly after South Africa's historic elections that installed the first black president. President Clinton arranged a state visit and the South African ambassador, an old friend from my anti-apartheid activist days, insisted that my firm handle the media, which included a newsmaker's luncheon at the National Press Club and other high-profile media events. More than an honor, it was a duty to spotlight the man who was at the center of the national battle cry for the Free South Africa Movement. I will always cherish and remember that period as a hallmark of my career. To paraphrase our first black president, saluting Nelson Mandela in passing, we can say yesterday he belonged to us, today he's claimed by the ages. Thank you.